today I'm going to adjust the rollers on my roll mill. I've got a little bit of curve when I put a piece through, as you can see. So that tells me that my rollers aren't level. Something's a little bit off. And I need to roll down some heavier gauge silver to a little smaller gauge. And I definitely don't want that curve in there. So, that's today's project. So the first thing I need to do is to raise up the handle. This piece, oh, there's a little lock on mine. It's just this screw in the back. But that holds it in place. But I can just lift that, take it out. And now we can adjust each roller by hand. So you'll want, before you lift this the handle up, you will want to make the rollers so that they're almost touching but not quite. And then once I remove this, I kind of just eyeball it. There are um, little shims and things that you can get that are, you know, a perfect thickness that you could put in there and really check. But I just tend to eyeball it. I'll just come down so I can see the light through it and then I can adjust by turning clockwise until it looks about even to me. And a lot of times I'll just put the handle back in and roll a piece through and test it. Let's see. You want to make sure those gears are lined up. Okay, I think that just dropped a little bit. So we'll put that in and we'll test a little piece. And that's looking a lot better, just with a slight tweak. This is the first piece I rolled, and then this. I think I'm still a little bit high on this side. move it a little bit when I do that. But let's try another piece. Yep, definitely a little bit straighter even with that one. And for me, I think that's going to be good enough. <laughs> so then I can just tighten this screw back here and it's just kind of like right here and it goes in and holds the bar. Your roll mill may be different. So just a real quick little tool tip this week. Um, I haven't done much on the squash blossom unfortunately and time is running short and I need more metal. Uh, but actually, I do need to do a little more research on my roll mill because my rollers are actually, not only are they not, or were they not, level, they're a little bit askew, I guess, is a good word to say. And I did get this really cheap years ago, and I think that was a lot of the reason was maybe someone just didn't know that it could be adjusted. But I think I need to totally remove my rollers as well, and I've not done that yet, so... A little more research and I'm gonna really try to get that thing back in shape but for now just that little tweak is enough to keep me going and get rid of that wonky curve when I roll things through so that's it for this week see you next Tuesday <laughs>